you know, if something sits around in your workshop long enough, you kind of stop noticing that it's in the way. Yeah, g'day and welcome back to my channel where I make weekly videos about my adventures in CNC. My main project at the moment is converting this beautiful old Shaoblin 125 CNC lathe over to Linux CNC. My goal for this episode would be to take one of the pneumatic systems, for example the back gear control, and bring it under control of Linux CNC. But as you'll see, things don't always work out quite as you expect. Now to control the pneumatics, I got a valve terminal from Festo. It's a CPV10. But to control the CPV10, I need uh, wires. Now that is a 26 pin D sub connector. Now I have a feeling I've got one of them somewhere. Question is, where? Luckily, when it comes to storage, I'm very systematic. So electrical stuff gets saved in the wood shop in boxes. So this is like knobs and switches. There's some nice D sub connectors, but they're only 15 pin. Hey, maybe chop two in half and glue them together. Nah. Or maybe this box. What have we got? Connectors. I think this is kind of guitar stuff mainly, but a bunch of resistors. Oh wow. Oh, that's where my sandwich went. Hey, I was looking for that. Mmm. That's also electrical junk. Ah, this must be it. It's even marked electrical. Wonder why everything in here is so dusty. Sometimes I don't really know why I keep some of this junk. I mean, I don't even know what that came from. No D sub there. Hope is not lost because there's one more place I may well have put the connectors and that is the wire pile. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's looking promising. Cool, that fits. Now here we are in the Festo manual. It says here these valves need 24 volts with a little tolerance. I wonder if they really mean that. Maybe I can test it with this. It's got 18 volts. All right, nearly 21. Now let's call that with intolerance, shall we? Let's have a look here. What pins do I need? Pins 24 and 25 are the negative pins. And if I look for a valve number one, if I put 24 volts on pin one, negative to pin 25, position one should do something. Now let's check that out. 12, 14. 12, 14, 12, now I could play with this all day. We've got eight pneumatic valves. Each has one of two positions, and each of those positions rolled by two pins. But how do we control the pins? So for that, I'm using Mace's 7i84 card. This is a pretty simple input-output card. It's got 32 inputs, 16 on each row, and eight outputs. Each of the outputs you can kind of think of as a relay. Digital signal comes in and switches the output line. If I provide 24 volts, then it'll be switching 24 volts. The connector at the top, that's where you feed in whatever electricity you want to switch. I think it can switch anything from about 5 volts to about 36 or so. Plus this side, minus that side. While all of the smart serial daughter cards connect to their mothership through an RJ45 connector, on the other end the wiring goes into a terminal block. I'm going to connect this card, the 7i84, to serial port number 0. So I have to butcher a few network cables to get the signal into here. I need a network cable. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. It exploded. My chainsaw exploded. Oh, exploded. I did? Oh, what the fuck? D is for censored. Yuck.
This sort of thing makes wiring extremely time consuming. And finally, labeling. I'd like to say a big thank you to Raphael, who drew up beautiful tech drawings of the parts missing from this tailstock. So I'll be able to make them. It'll be a while. First, I got to get the machine going, but. Thanks very much, Raphael. Excellent drawings you've done. All right, mail time. All right, this is going to be the Shoblin's brains. It's just a pretty standard mini computer. You don't need much power for Linux CNC. I'll also wire in my pneumatic modules common ground. These two connectors have output pins, so let's wire up a couple. And now that should be the wiring about finished. So if we connect this. CPV to I.O. board, I.O. board, to the next interface board. Brain. And finally, plug it into the big brain. One pathetic sob story later. Do you remember the wiring diagram for the CPV-10? Not sure, but I think this pin here, which is Pin 23 is not supposed to be connected to the control because that blue wire I by mistakenly connected to the output of the Mesa card and it sparked. That's never a good sign. And later when I connected the 21 volt power to this board I got a spark as well. And I'm pretty sure you should have more than one ohm of resistance across those plus and minus pole input pins. So I think this board might be toast. A big thanks to our number one fan, Nico, for his creative inputs. Thanks for watching.